Man, for the last year, you guys have been asking me, Boone, where are the vlogs at, bruh? And you know, today we're about to finally answer that question because we are out here in New York, man. You guys might even know where this spot is if you're like a true New York head, but um, I'm actually like right next to the Supreme store. You already know what's about to go down, man. It's a brick week. Uh, the week I arrived, I guess James somehow got word. He's like, oh, the brick king flying in from Seattle. Make sure it is the deadest week we've ever seen. Well, they do got those rims dropping. I gotta be fair, but don't even begin to ask for like a like goal at Boone how many likes for the rim I guess we're gonna walk around I'm gonna do some cringy ass vlogging I'm by myself out here man I kind of hate recording by myself but hey it's what I always do in New York you guys seem to like these vlogs so let's get out of this boring ass hotel room let's hit the streets of New York I already walked by Supreme it was literally the deadest I've ever seen it so I actually don't even know if I'll be able to record in there usually I have some like tourists to duck behind but um, yeah, we'll see how that goes, man. I'll try to do my best to film stuff. Okay, I just listened to that clip. I'm gonna try my absolute best to not have my hair slap the shit out of my mic, but we're trying, boys. Let's go outside. I guess I'll show you guys a little hotel check real quick. You know, pretty pretty funky out here, man. We got the zebra print chairs and all that. Wow. So I actually decided to commentate over this just so I could like talk to you guys a little bit more about some of these items we're seeing in store. In this first shot, we actually see those hockey jerseys I was hyping up. XL, man, I still am telling you guys, I don't really know what it is with hockey jerseys, but even the super ugly ones do pretty well, and XL especially, that was the size I was really pushing. We were not about to touch those all over Yankee tees. Those are horrible. So a nice little cut view to my feet. And we take a look at this lady in pink short sleeve top. This one super caught my attention. One of those items I remember seeing online, thinking nothing of it, but in person, man, the colors and design of this one are super dope. So I was actually pretty caught off guard. I was actually rocking with that. Here's some more shots of those hockey jerseys seeing them in hand honestly gave me even more faith in them i think they're actually pretty cool and the material is pretty decent um we got the little knits as well and oh my lord bro of course i walk face to face with these horrible faux fur sleeveless vests like i absolutely hate these i actually called the red one the ugliest item of the season and it's of course the only one to sell out because that's just the way supreme works and then we went over to the t-shirt rack as you can see a bunch of spaghetti tees um we also have the weirdo dave shirt and oh my god even more spaghetti tea this spaghetti tea was the most boring lazy like it's so bad i'm not even shocked it was sitting everything in the jolly rancher color that shit is trash and then we head over to the hat section um the hats again kind of mediocre like maybe i could have gotten a predator beanie that probably would have been the best choice there oh, also those little knit ones in the top right are pretty decent but i ended up passing on all of them oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get so now I'm over at the hoodies rack. Again, a bunch of these all over print Yankee items sitting. If they had this navy hoodie in like an XL, maybe. I mean, nah. But I was not feeling any of these Yankee items. They didn't have any of the track items or anything good left. So next up, we have the deck section. And again with the decks, like just nothing good, man. We had all the Weirdo Dave ones, as well as those Pablo Picasso ones. And then as I was leaving, man, I actually saw a homie putting in extra work, carrying all these heavy ass bricks, probably throwing his back out four times. The real MVP right here, folks. This was all the new week stuff and I'm just creepily filming the dude. But yeah, we just walk out and then I'll just give it back to myself. Okay, we just hopped out of Prem. You guys comment right now what you think I cop. Cause there's a lot of bricks in there y'all saw. Some actually decent items too, but funniest shit bro, my card was straight getting declined. Like, I don't know how this shit always happens to me, but even in person, I'm the first person to get card declined in store bro. It was actually mad embarrassing. I had to end up using a gift card my dad gave me like two years ago. So shout out my dad for that assist on the preem. But um, yeah, for real, comment what you guys think I got. I'll show y'all later, but uh, I'm probably gonna go hit Palace now. And yes, we masked up, so I'm sorry. The audio is probably even worse than before somehow, but let's go to Palace. I'm sweating like a damn dog out in these streets, bro. How could this happen to me? All right, it's a new day. Um, I'm doing like two different vlogs on this trip and they're getting very intermingled and confusing as fuck. But uh, this is the day before I leave. I was only here a couple days, but we're about to hit Brooklyn, New York, Supreme, um, find out what's inside. Hopefully it's not trash. Let's find out. All right, so next up we have the Brooklyn store. Cool little walk-in cinematic into the store. I was the only person in the whole place, man. It made it so awkward because the whole floor is so empty that it's like you just see this little blonde lesbian kid walking around trying to be discreet with his phone recording shelves. They're probably laughing at me because um, there was a group of dudes just talking at the counter. But yeah, first off, DMX items. Something new and cool. I was glad to see some different stuff here. Um, I wasn't too crazy about these prints. They're just 
too crazy for me, but um, pretty cool to see them in hand. I really do enjoy seeing a lot of this stuff in hand. I otherwise wouldn't. And their short sleeve top rack is pretty much the same all over Yankee stuff. Ooh, what did we find here, folks? It's the clown tee. I'm actually a little disappointed. I didn't just buy this in store instead of online. It would have saved me some money, but um, they have the blue color. I was kind of peeping. Let's quickly just walk right past those horrible velour items. Oh my God, those are terrible. Here we have the pants section, the all over print work pant. I'm not too crazy about these. Uh, we also had the lady in pink sweats as well as the Yankee ones. Their t-shirt rack looks the exact same except you also have the Afro skater tee here. And what was interesting is they did actually have S logos on their hat rack. They had almost a completely different hat rack but ain't nobody want a yellow or pink S logo hat so I did end up skipping on all those. And that was pretty much it. There was not anything else to show off in the store. All right so that was actually my first time ever in the Brooklyn store. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all hyped this one up to me, but it felt pretty bare in there. A bunch of empty space isn't a bad thing or anything, but I don't know. It didn't have, like, the gone statue in the middle or anything to make it special. So I'm, like, a bit disappointed. They did have more shit, though, than the last location we hit, but damn, man. I was really hoping we'd actually get some other heat. Well, I am sorry, you guys, that the video was a bit shorter than I was hoping for, but I guess that's what happens when Palace is closed. Both days you try to go, man. So that was a little look at the Supreme Bowery location, my personal favorite store I've been to. And then that was also my first time ever going to the Brooklyn store. And as I said in the video with horrific audio, uh, I was kind of bummed out with the Brooklyn store. I thought it was pretty bare. Like there wasn't any kind of highlight landmark feature there that felt special to me. It might just be me though. Um, but let me show you guys really fast what I actually copped. As you guys saw, I went in there like pretty dead weeks and I actually tried to do a live cop out there as well. That was when the Supreme website did not load for like 15 or 20 minutes. Please. If there's a god out there, this page will refresh, bro. And I literally ran out of storage on my phone, which is what I was recording with, so I couldn't do a live cop there like I was hoping to. But here is my one pickup, man, and I'm actually like pretty like happy with this one. I was not a fan of this when I initially saw it in the lookbook. We got my little slime language shoddy on the side right here. We got like crazy writing and graffiti all over this thing. Um, actually way doper in person though. Like even in this video right now, I don't think it fully shows off. How sick this is, man. There's so many colors going on. It almost has like a watercolor look to it. Uh, I was definitely impressed with this one when I went in store. I'll even show you guys me wearing this thing right now just to see the fit of it. Here we have this shirt. I know some of you guys probably roasted me for buying this, but I mean, you know, like what you like, man. I thought it was a cool shirt. Um, it's actually doing pretty well on the market too, which also kind of surprised me. At the time I was in store, these were selling for like 170. I think they have gone down in price now, but that's gonna do it for this vlog. I do also have to tell you guys, this is not the only New York video I have for you all because I also thrifted when I was in New York um, I'm gonna probably do a separate thrifting video maybe I'll even throw some Seattle thrifting clips if I go with like Lauren or something but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry I like never do vlogs or anything but I'll try to get better with it man uh, I'll try to figure out some stuff to vlog around here with Lauren I have no idea what to vlog that's half my problem man but I'll see y'all in the next one <laughs> expect that thrifting video I actually got some cool pickups in it so I'm hyped to bring it to you guys I hope you enjoyed this one though I'll see y'all later I'm out yeah. Peace. I went down.